All right, we've got a brand new update here for FL Studio. It's going to be version 21.2, and they've already had a crazy update very recently, so something to this magnitude was definitely a surprise to me. So I want to make sure that I myself, as well as all of you, know exactly what we're getting inside of this update. So let's get started. All right, before we actually dive into FL Studio, I want to go over some of the patch notes and even the video that goes along with it. So let's go into that now. In this video, we'll show you all the new features and improvements in FL Studio 21.2 working this way. That's why we're introducing FL Cloud Sounds. To access FL Cloud Sounds, just click on the Sounds tab in the browser. Okay, so from what this looks like right here is that's going to be like a splice um, sort of deal to where you can go and find different samples created by different creators. I don't really know if anyone can upload their own samples to here, if it's going to be an own set list and people that they already have putting stuff on their platform or anything like that, but it's going to be integrated with inside of FL Studio. So it's going to be a huge upgrade here. Specify BPM ranges with respect to your project tempo, and preview loops at project tempo or pitch shifted to the key of your project. There's plenty of free stuff, of course, but you can also subscribe to FL Cloud to get. We knew it wouldn't be free. We knew it would not be completely free. Although they, they do say here that there are going to be some free options, but definitely going to be a, a pay subscription for the full library, like it says here. Full and unlimited access or buy credit packs for non expiring download credit. It's really easy to get an idea going with access to FL Cloud. Okay, so it seems like you can kind of like put it just straight in from right there. So you can almost like test out sounds. It's pretty cool. But I don't know if they have to be downloaded or not. It packs or even have an expired subscription. If you downloaded it, it's yours. You do have to download them. Okay, still fun. Really cool feature here if you are planning on uh, getting, picking that up. Let's move on over now to the, uh, the cloud mastering. This is one thing that I am very excited about. Mastering. Once you've made something you're proud of, select master in the export settings you'll see the fl cloud mastering tool the dialog will look familiar as it's based on the standard fl studio render window importantly though mm. at the bottom you can select a target mm. integrated lofts loudness value for your master or choose from one of the provided streaming services loudness guidelines in this menu provided free to all fl studio customers is the default preset which is a great place to start is it providing be a paid the most thing? general and balanced master FL Cloud subscribers will be. It's a paid thing. Oh man. Okay. First of all, this is like the main, like one of the top two things I'm excited about for this update and already kind of a disappointment. Kind of a disappointment. It's really good they're offering it. I'm not trying to knock them on that. But for one, I already have two different mastering plugins that I can use where I can reference it and tweak things in real time. So I thought basically that's what would be happening here. Oh, it just, it doesn't look like it. Like the last video we just did on the Lander mastering plugin, which is my favorite mastering plugin of all time right now. So many ways to tweak and get different results. Um, but here it looks like you can just really change the loudness. And then like a preset over here at the CD and different options and then all that sort of stuff where... I, it's going to be like, I don't really know what to say about this quite yet. I need to actually dive in there and see if it's actually worth it, but not exactly what I thought that it would be. Not even including the fact that all of these presets down over here are going to be paid. That's unfortunate. I mean, again, FL Studio does a lot by giving us free updates anyway, but hoping for a little bit more here, I'll, I'll be honest. It'll definitely get your loudness up there. I don't the think that'll be the problem. Skip back to the start. I just, don't, I just want more flexibility. All right, moving on. Distribution. A lot of you guys might appreciate this one. I really won't. On the major music I don't release music anymore. Now but you, you guys can. might appreciate this. FL Cloud subscriptions include music distribution powered by DistroKid. DistroKid enables you to release and monetize your music on all major music streaming platforms, including Spotify, Apple, Amazon, Deezer. T and once again, you. Especially for distribution, you can't assume that this is all going to be free stuff here. I think we're seeing a theme here though, right? So this is the FL Cloud updates in a nutshell. Every single feature that they're adding here is going to be paired along with their new subscription-based service of FL Cloud. Take that how you will. I'm not going to knock them for that. They need to make money and they're going to give us a lot of stuff in, uh, for free updates. And you can just continue to not use these things. You can just continue to keep on doing the way that you've been uh, producing using all your other third-party tools. No one's going to knock you for that. I still think it's a good thing that they gave us this option. Like DistroKid here is already kind of a, a, a very well-used product here. So I'll be moving on over to the other really big thing I want to look at, the stem separation. Stem separation. You can now use our new stem separation algorithm to dissect your about audio this. files into stems. From the clip menu, select Extract Stems from Sample to see the options. You can choose which stems to extract here. 
Okay. Choose what happens to the source track or clip after processing here. Click Extract to get your stems. And there you have it. If this is another cloud-based, like you need to have the cloud thing for this, then I'm going to be very upset. If everyone can get this for free, it's going to be massive. Isolated drums and vocals. Sounds really good. Okay, so they, they're going very quick here, but I, I, I can hear that. I heard the kick was not completely separated there, which is fine. It's very difficult to separate things by frequencies, so that's not a bad thing, but don't think I didn't hear that. Okay, so is it perfect? Absolutely not. I did not expect it to be. The one thing you've got to take from this, though, everyone needs to stop freaking out about not having the cleanest sound here, all right? The textures of the hi-hats and the snares getting left with some of the, the bass or some of the instrument is not always a bad thing. Those textures really help out and add some character. What it does is clear up more than enough room for you to add your own stuff, like your own kick drums, your own uh, drum patterns in general, and counter melodies. And it allows you to rearrange the track and mix it to the way that you're more content with. So still, overall, especially with it being integrated inside of the DAW with a couple different clicks here massive but now we want to go on to the stranger thing what the stranger things synth okay let's try that out i could have some fun with this already kepler again more vsts totally fine with me but this is sick I'm assuming they made all these uh, these sounds using the, the set. Kepler is the newest addition to the FL Studio synthesizer toolbox. But does everybody it is a get it? a faithful recreation of a Juno 6 synthesizer with all its digitally controlled goodness. It has a main oscillator, a sub oscillator, noise generator, LFO, and a built-in arpeggiator. The analog Sick. filter has been meticulously recreated as well. If that classic synth sound is what you're looking for, Kepler has got you covered. Like in Vintage Chorus, you can turn the chorus I'm noise what I'm hearing on so and far. off, so everyone who bought Producer Edition or higher Producer edition. I think that's the second tier and up, which is great because that's I was hoping would not be the all plugin included bundle because that one costs I think like eight hundred dollars. I think this version here costs two, maybe three hundred. So for the most part, I'd say that people do have the producer edition. Um, so this is great. It's going to be a lot more accessible here for most people here. Fantastic. And with that, we hope you'll love FL Studio twenty one point two as much as we love your lifetime free updates. Okay, so that's going to be the end of the video here. And a lot of promising things here and some things that I think are going to kind of go by the wayside for most people. How long is this recording? Around 19 minutes? I'm debating if I want to split this video into two videos or just uh, get everything into one big one because yo guys' <laughs> attention span isn't that big. <laughs> okay, but about the update video that we just watched. So I think it's amazing the fact that they're including the, the cloud-based service here. Um, we knew it wasn't going to be free. I mean, if you did, then it's it's a little bit too much to ask for. I don't know how much the cloud service is. Let's actually go and find that out right now, too. Guys, that's affordable. That is affordable. Yes, personally for me, I never do monthly subscription anymore. I always choose the yearly because you get like a you get a discount for all that. I mean, it's four dollars a month for for everything that we saw here today around the cloud-based service. Like it's fifty dollars for the entire year. You're saving thirty dollars for doing the annual fee, and you get all this stuff over here. Now, yes, it is a time-limited introductory offer, so I think that I personally am going to do this myself with my own hard-earned cash. Not I'm not getting paid for this one. I don't. I'm not sponsored by Image Line. I am just curious to see all these samples that we can go through here, and I think it'd be some really great content to cover for you guys. And I think that I am going to be splitting up this video so i think that's all i'm going to have for here today i'm going to get this video out for you guys as soon as possible hopefully tonight to get the reactions and get you guys updated on the info with this update and now i'm going to go sign up for the fl cloud service here for the annual for um 50 a year and definitely have at least one maybe two more videos uh depending on how much we really want to go through here as soon as i can get that content out i'm going to be very busy with content right now between uh, working with this channel right here working with content with other companies. There's going to be a lot of content right now, so I'm excited for all of this. So for everyone, be sure to subscribe, and if you wanted to, turn on the bell for notifications. It's up to you. But we are definitely covering more of the FL Studio 21.2 update here on this channel.